I'm wondering if you could say more about just what a naive judge is like and then why or whether or not ChatGPT 4.0 passes the Turing test. Yeah. So a naive judge is somebody who knows nothing about machines. And the, these people off the street, or we got through an ad in the first uh, Turing test, were people who which were so mesmerized by the fact that the, the, the ELISA program could reply in what seemed to be a sensible way, although uh, you know, with very little content to it, just shooting the, what they say back to it. Um, those people were naive. Okay. And again, getting into psychologism and behaviorism, what is it that makes the Turing test a behaviorist test? Well, you know, Turing wanted to replace the concept, the concept of thinking, intelligence in the sense of the possession of thought, with a purely behavioral test. Now, the big problem in behaviorism is trying to define what, what behavior to um, identify with a mental state. And he thought he'd solved that by letting the judge decide. Yeah. But then he didn't say anything about the mental qualities of the judge. That is and, a, you know, the, if the judge was too knowledgeable, the judge would know the difference between a genuinely intelligent machine and a person. And if the judge was not in, uh, knowledgeable enough, the judge would be fooled by dumb machines. So, you know, by not specifying the the mental qualities of the, of the judge, which he couldn't do because he was a behaviorist, he thought he was getting rid of that idea. Um, that's what made the Turing test die. Okay, so another way of putting it maybe, or putting part of it, is that ChatGPT, whether or not it passes the Turing test, it's just not really well-defined because the Turing test isn't well-defined enough. The, what's wrong with the Turing test is something quite specific. It's, uh, it's ill-defined in a number of ways, like how long the Turing test is supposed to last. But the, 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 the ill-definedness that is the crucial ill-definedness is the failure to specify who the judge is and what the judge's mental qualities are. And that's a principal defect because if you're going to have a purely behaviorist test, you can't make it depend on the mental qualities of the judge. But as I just mentioned, the mental qualities of the judge can make it go wrong in either direction.